from the Gebobo uh, Sep uh, and surrounds Brandberg Quartz from Namibia. Uh, what we have here is a matrix of basalt, very thin matrix, and sitting on top of these are, are quartz crystals. Now, now some may say we're looking at the Harlequin quartz. Uh, there's quite a healthy inclusion of hematite in these guys. And why I say hematite versus uh, versus um, uh, lepidocrasite is because when you move them there's this reddishness to the hematites from a display point of view very very bling bling hellishly difficult to photograph to get out all the definition because there's a hell of a lot of crystallization happening here I'll just move you across the faces and what you look for is reflection almost the picture almost looks synthetic unfortunately and when we go around like this there's a quite a healthy section, a healthy dollop of the pre-night at the back with some, uh, it appears, calcite associated. Biggish crystals of calcite for the Gebobosep and surrounds, this crystal for instance. And of course, not a very large specimen, but very, very bling bling. So it's got a, got a, got a whole, whole eyeful of character. Um, just go a little bit closer. And I think focus on the reflections, because on the still pictures I really wasn't able to capture the, let's say the form of the whole specimen. And sitting on those crystals, you'll see there's a fine dusting over there. I suspect that we're looking at some anal seams. Now, uh, uh, the, the basalt uh, is usually full of uh, zeolite minerals. So we'd have, we'd be looking for zeolites, uh, the likes of a puffalite anal seam, Pre-night, uh, Heulandite, etc., etc.